Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. Now, anyone with any sense whatsoever knows that there's two sets of laws, as they say, one for the privileged types and two for everyone else. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that there's a code of silence in law enforcement. Okay, and that's one example of many of a conspiracy. How could there be a code of silence if there's not a massive conspiracy of people who are wittingly or otherwise contributing to it? Like, hello, how else could it be? So it's already proven, and law enforcement agents themselves have admitted that it's there, that there's a massive conspiracy to lie about things and to control things, okay, called the code of silence. And it also exists in the military and other institutions as well. If you don't know that, you're insane. We also see that people are very much criminally negligent when it comes to things related to the economy. When it comes to things related to morals and sense. People don't have common sense. And so people are getting ripped off financially. They're being shunned unfairly by females. We see this epidemic of loneliness, as they say. That's a result of poor governance and poor cultural uh, values. And they're reinforcing the very values that are causing this problem, the crony, capitalist, doggy, dog, wolf, and sheep mentality. There is no excuse for it. It is clear, and there's so many reasons I'm right and everyone knows it, that people are being pushed toward crime. And then they're being punished after they commit a crime. Okay, whether it's they're trying to, you know, put food on the table, whether they're they're pissed off and put it and deliberately put into mental states where they're more likely to commit crimes. They're pushed toward crime. And they're saying, hey, you're not white, or, or you know, you're not a privileged white or privileged Jew or privileged LGBT person or privileged token minority enough. So therefore, you're getting thrown under the bus. And they keep citing things like, well, they're, they're not being strict enough when it comes to law enforcement. But first things first, before you even ask yourself if the law enforcement is strict enough, you got to ask yourself, why are they committing the crime? It's like in Hurricane Katrina, where, you know, they have to kind of feed themselves because of the failure of society, because of the failure of the government to properly prepare for things like this. Why are they doing it? If the answer is you've pushed them to do it and you want law enforcement to beat them up for it, then you're a fanatic kind of white Jew and to token minority and LGBT supremacist who doesn't care about the poor, who doesn't care about what's right. There's a difference between having money and having class. If you truly have class in the truest sense of the, the term and the idea, then you have moral precision. Without moral precision, there is no class. You're just some kind of well-dressed fool. With blood money, great, great, lovely. There's countless people like that. There's 22 and a half million millionaires and billionaires in this country. You proud of that? Are you proud that you can tie your shoes too? I mean, hello. Except for, it's that blood money. Except for it's a disgrace to have piled blood money while people are suffering, especially if you're the central planners. Especially if you promote the central organizing principle of, of evil, of Satanism, of wickedness, of, of injustice. It is disgusting to see this play out. You can imagine that God doesn't approve and there's a lot of these people are so arrogant. They're so arrogant and petty that they don't care if God Almighty, God all perfect. They don't care if God doesn't approve because...